Eagle Island is a new roguelike action platformer. Your main means to attack is your owl. You can throw your owl in any direction. The trick with the owl is that you can chain together enemy kills to give you a combo. If you can increase your combo, then you will get more rewards while you're in the dungeons, including more health. Achieving these combos does take some practice and skill. As you see with the gameplay I provided, I was not so good at this, but I did like that there was this smaller system going on in the background that I could work to achieve. The combo system is like a mini system for the combat, so that you can now reassess rooms just a bit differently than you would in any other game. Normally, you would go into a room and try to take everyone out, but here you might want to try and figure out who's the best to attack and maybe in what order to attack them to be able to maximize your combos. I very much enjoyed and respected this about Eagle Island. The dungeons do change up who you are fighting, so you will need to figure out the new enemy attacks along with their potential weak points to be able to sustain your combo flow. The combos and combat are challenging and very rewarding. Now while you are in many of the dungeons, you need to focus on finding the dungeon boss along with finding upgrades to prepare you for that fight. As you defeat enemies, you will gain both gold and silver currency. The gold is used to open up select chests that require gold to open them. Along with that, the silver is used for mid-level merchants. You will earn buffs as you open up chests and you can pay for them. You can have a few equipped at the same time, and these buffs allow you to be more efficient with your owl's attacks, more health, exploration, and many other different kinds of buffs. This is where the customization comes in with how you decide how you want to play your character. The dungeons feature both light puzzle solving and a lot of combat. The boss fights are pretty fun as well. The boss fights are pretty fun and you need to focus on their weak points to be able to defeat them. They can be really challenging. Lastly, as you progress throughout the game, you will gain new abilities to help you open up new areas. Like being able to have your owl fly through objects and hit them in sequence or an explosive owl along with many others. This sort of adds this light metroidvania element to the game. I do want to mention again that this game can be really hard and I was not the best at it. There are a bunch of difficulty settings that you can change before you enter a new dungeon. Even on the easiest setting, it can be pretty tough. I did like how you can change the difficulty on the fly before you go into a new dungeon, so that that way you can find a difficulty that's comfortable for you. And if you find yourself getting better at the game, you can then make it harder. The one major flaw I have with this is how the movement and platforming feels. It feels a bit loose, and at times a bit too loose for my liking. I think this could be bettered with a potential patch, so that it doesn't feel like you're always walking on ice. The colorful graphics are really inviting along with the excellent music score. I feel like lately many of the games that I have reviewed have had some really great soundtracks and here it's very awesome and impressive. Here are a few tracks from the game. Overall, Eagle Island is a fun game. It's very challenging, and I was very happy to see that it has some different difficulty levels so that you can then get your feet wet before it gets really hard. The combo system is unique as it adds another layer to combat. Earning different upgrades in each of the dungeons is rewarding. The presentation is solid, and the soundtrack is really memorable. This is a solid title with a lot of charm. If you don't mind a challenging game, then I would recommend you check this one out. <laughs> 